Up until now, I've been using university extensions for soil tests. For under $20, I receive a report that looks like this within two weeks. The report includes the major elements like pH and most nutrients, as well as soil organic matter and cation exchange. These tests are useful, but I don't always agree with the recommendations to apply lime and fertilizers, and there's no measure of microbial biomass, which is a leading indicator to soil health. This video is my first use of an alternative microbiometer, which is an at-home kit to measure the microbial biomass in your soil. To note, I am not sponsored or affiliated with microbiometer in any way. At a high level, there are three steps to complete the 20-minute test. First, collect a soil sample two to five inches below the soil and screen out larger particles. Next, complete the kit steps, like measuring soil and water, then mixing a solution and waiting. Lastly, take a photo of the results using their app and you are provided with a microbial biomass, which is the measure of microbial carbon to a gram of soil. In my test, the microbial biomass I collected contained 544 UG, which is the measure of weight of carbon to a gram of soil. There is not a specific category for residential testing, but in agricultural soil, the range is between 200 and 800, so the results are above average with a fungus to bacteria ratio of 1.1 to 1. The location I tested has been amended for many years with compost, leaf mold, and mulch, so the results are in line with my expectations. To wrap up, I wanted to show a quick comparison between university testing and microbiometer. Before I do, please click subscribe so you are notified as we add videos. So, in terms of cost, both tests are under $15 for one test. For timing, microbiometer is quicker with results in 20 minutes versus two weeks for a university test. In terms of results, a university extension will provide you with pH, nutrients, organic matter, and cation exchange, while microbiometer will provide you with a microbial biomass and a ratio of fungus to bacteria. To understand the importance of microbes, including the fungus to bacteria ratio and how it impacts plant succession in weeds, see our video, How to Manage Common Weeds Without Chemicals. Thanks for watching and learning with us here at Soil Shepherds.